Hi, I'm Brett Michael Phillips from MIT, and I'm here to talk to you today about whether or not the force from Star Wars is real or just fantasy. And you may be thinking, okay, Brent, that's kind of a funny thing. Isn't this a spiritual channel? Aren't you going to talk to us about consciousness and energy healing and subconscious blocks and things like that? Well, you're correct. This is a spiritual channel. But I think it's really important we address this for a couple reasons. First is, I want to reach a broader audience. I'm hoping some of you found this video because you were looking for something about Star Wars and you're like, there's this spiritual teacher with a bunch of MIT degrees talking about if the Force is real. I'll check that out. Awesome. Welcome. Maybe this will be your entry point into the world of spirituality and higher consciousness. Also, for many of us, Star Wars has been our spiritual teacher in a sense. If I look back at my life, I'd say the Star Wars movies and Luke and Yoda and Darth Vader were far more impactful and, or important to me than even the Bible. And I don't mean that in a sacrilegious sense. That was just my experience. As I grew up, I loved the Star Wars movies. I fell in love with them. I watched them over and over. I wanted to play with the toys and play lightsabers. And more than anything, I wanted to be a Jedi Knight. I wanted the Force to be real. I mean, raise your hand if you were a kid or maybe older and you tried to use the Force, right? You tried to get the flashlight to come across your bed into your hand. Of course I did, right? I'm not ashamed to admit that. I really wanted the Force to be real. Why is that? Well, if we look at Star Wars, it's so fascinating that the Star Wars franchise had a dramatic, gigantic impact on our culture. It wasn't just a series of successful movies that made a lot of money. It changed lives. And I've met so many of my students and other Star Wars fans who said, yeah, Star Wars, it wasn't just a good movie, it really changed my life. Why is that? Well, here's what I think. The reason Star Wars wasn't just a great movie, but changed lives, changed us on a fundamental level. It has nothing to do with laser guns or outer space or Death Stars. It has everything to do with the Force. That's what made it unique. That's what made it so impactful. That's what inspired this almost cultish devotion of fans. And why is that? Well, the Force resonates with something inside of us. Because again, so many of us wanted the Force to be real. We really wanted to be Jedis, or maybe wanted to believe someone could. And so I want to go more specifically and talk about what they got right in Star Wars in terms of what aspects of the Force and the Jedis are actually real that you can learn. And the other parts that are fiction and fantasy that make a great movie, but are about as real as lightsabers. So let's talk about first some of the things that they got right. The first thing they got right, and this is hugely important, there really is a force. I call it the quantum field. It's the same thing, folks. There is this force field of energy, of intelligence, of consciousness that permeates the entire universe. That's what the quantum field is. And when they talk about it in the movie, I think the reason that we love the movie so much is because that connects to something inside of us. We know there is such a thing, but we've forgotten it. It's funny, people that lived thousands of years in the past were much more connected to the quantum field than we are today. As a simple example, most of us can move our fingers independently, but not our toes. Why? We squeeze the consciousness out. Society has squeezed the consciousness out of our bodies, disconnected us from the quantum field. You go and meet with primitive people living in tribes in the Amazon, they got monkey toes. They can spread and grip with their toes just like their fingers. Why? They haven't been disconnected from the quantum field. People that live in close harmony with nature are more connected to this divine energy field. So that's the part, the biggest part of Star Wars that is correct. There is such a thing. There is a source of all life and it's all around us. It's also correct that we can learn to tap into it. That in a sense, again, only in a sense, I am a sort of modern day Jedi Knight. But here's where we get into where it's incorrect. It's not real. It's not about telekinesis. I believe such a thing is possible, but it's not something I've ever seen done. That's a very high level skill. It's also not about fighting. That in the movies, it's understandable that Jedi Knights were kind of patterned on the, the monks from China that learned the martial arts, right? If we go to the Shaolin Temple, it was martial arts combined with spirituality, prayer, meditation. So the, the Jedi Knights were loosely patterned on the Shaolin monks. But the real quantum field isn't about fighting, though you could use it that way. 
the, those that are very connected to the quantum field will make the best fighters. But it has nothing to do with violence or fighting or necessarily standing on your head or pulling spaceships out of swamps. So that's added. That's fantasy, right? The other thing that I think is really cool about Star Wars that they get right is there is a dark side and a light side. That this quantum field, this divine intelligence, has no judgment. There is no necessarily right or wrong, good or bad. There's just what is. And the tool itself is not inherently good or bad. It's all about the person using it. So is a sharp knife good or bad? It's both. It's very good if it can cut your dinner or open a box. It could even save your life. It's bad if you stab someone with it or cut your finger, right? So there is a dark side and a light side. And it's interesting that my late mentor, Carl, he warned me about some of his students that had, quote, turned to the dark side. He didn't use that term, but he said they learned to manipulate the quantum field from ego and used it to harm people and exploit them. And he was correct. I worked with some of these people and they harmed and exploited me. So the quantum field is not inherently good or bad. It simply is. And so, yes, there is an, a dark side and there is a light side. And if we wish to fully master it, we have to be open to the dark side without succumbing to it. And I'll talk more about that in later videos. But our relationship to the dark side is incredibly important in determining our level of power, our level of happiness, how much money we make. And probably the, if there's one takeaway I would take from the Star Wars movies about the Force being real, it would be the Yoda sayings that when Yoda says things like, there is no try, only do or do not. You're never your mind on where you are, what you were doing. In case you didn't know, these are centuries, millennia old spiritual teachings. And they are so powerful, they are so true. And when we can connect to this quantum field, it's literally learning to use the force. They are exactly the same thing. And I don't know how much George Lucas personally knew about this, but I believe the truth is simply out there. And when the consciousness is right, the truth will filter through us and come out in ways that we can understand and relate to. And I see people like George Lucas and Gene Roddenberry, they are channels. They are channeling a higher intelligence to give us these ideas through stories, through movies, through TV shows that reprogram our consciousness to create a foundation for spiritual improvement. So long story short, are lightsabers real? No, not yet at least. Are you going to pull your X-Wing out of a swamp with the power of your mind? No. But there is a life force that connects everything, and we can learn to tap into it. And if you are interested in learning more, I would love to be your teacher. So if you haven't already, click like, click subscribe. You don't want to miss out, right? I'm also going to throw up the URL for my spiritual power quiz. You got to figure out your spiritual power. And I will also send you an invitation to one of my live events. I'm not going to be handing out lightsabers. I'm not going to be standing on my head or lifting cars with telekinesis, but I will show you how to reconnect to the quantum field. I will show you how to put the consciousness back in your body, heal your pain, get out of your head, get present, start making tons of money and enjoying the heck out of your life. Those things are real. So that's all I got to say for today. So thank you for joining me here. Big thumbs up to all my fellow Star Wars fans. And I hope to see you again very soon in one of my other YouTube videos or maybe at one of my live online events where you can see the truth of the force, this quantum field, for yourself. Until then, take care and namaste.